Hi everyone, we just went out to the uh, mole here, basically, uh, the other side of the harbour. The water is absolutely clear, it's really beautiful. Um, so I'm going to go out and see if I can catch some dinner, and I'm actually a little bit uh, excited to see if I can do this. So hopefully it's going to be a catch, clean and cook. I don't know what's going to be, but uh, you guys are with me on this, so let's hope for the best. Maybe we can get a small place, something I'm not sure. However, uh, I'll give them a try. Otherwise, it's going to be some nice recordings from Valley and Samsung. Anyway. We're gonna go around out here and the plan is to follow basically the uh, mole all the way around and there's some big rocks down there a lot of structure in the water and I've seen quite a few but that's been the small tobies and uh, also some uh, well there's been some of greater weavers as well uh, and they do say there should be some big uh, flat fish in here as well like plates and stuff like that so let's even catch a flounder I'm not sure but uh, anyway let's go ahead and try it out while you're at it you might as well like and subscribe and uh, that'll help me out and also a lot of other people out and uh, then you can also get another notification it's completely free whenever i make a new video so uh, stay tuned and let's get started Let's jump in the water. Go get some more. It's always difficult to get in for these uh, piers, so let's try it.
We did catch some uh, greater weavers, two of those and two tobies as well. Just come home and uh, cook them and see how they taste like. I know how the weavers are, but I never tried the tobies before, but we might as well try it. Beautiful evening here. Absolutely gorgeous with clear water, lots of things in the water. Absolutely great. I'm freezing a little bit. It is cold. It's about 18 degrees, which is about, uh, yeah, what are we looking at? 50, sorry, 66 degrees. So it takes a toll. Anyway, let's go ahead and go back. What is a fish? <laughs> but I got it. <laughs> Besides all the other ones. The little one, but of course there's one too. <laughs> <laughs> and the other ones that we have in the basket. <laughs> yes. Now that we got enough for dinner. Yes. That was the only one that was missing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you go for greater weavers, go for a headshot. They, they kind of calm down right away. Uh, I was lucky in this one, but it doesn't have to be like this. But if you go for the head, you preserve the meat, you'll have more to eat as well. It's a lot better. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> What do we have today? Well, we got one of the greater weavers here with the poisonous stings right there and also some stings up there. We're going to fillet them this time so we're ready for the pasta. And then we got a few here as well, which are called topis. And uh, I have a little quite a bit But uh, let's get them started. Let's go ahead and Here in place, and they're ready for putting onto the uh, pasta or whatever you want to do with them. You can also fry them if you want to, but uh, now we're gonna try pasta, I think. We got the fish, and now we got this. We share some. <laughs> Is it potatoes? <laughs> not potatoes? No. You are the with potatoes. You are on the potato island, you know that, right? Oh, there's mussels. Bring this. Put that down and come and Yes. Okay, I will. <laughs> That's our dinner. Yay! Part of it. Yes. Can't wait. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yep. Let's go ahead and try it. Quick, decide to make some pasta. Just water, salt, and then if you want a little bit oil, you can, but it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, but just use plenty of salt in there, that's good. Then it's ready to go in a pan.
a frying pan. Just getting ready with some bacon first that needs to go ahead and get a little bit fried up with some garlic, some uh, uh, basil in there as well. I got some uh, special kind of, kind of spice as well. And of course I got ready with the uh, basil over here as well, the real one, and then tomatoes coming in a second. In about another few minutes, we'll go ahead and put some uh, mussels on there too. It's gonna be really nice when we done. And now the mussels are in there. It's actually getting ready to get steamed. In uh, this time, it's gonna be rose wine. So I put some rose wine in there, and uh, I'm just gonna lightly steam because I need it to be uh, steaming off as well. So just keep on the heat. I might put a small lid on than usual just to keep the heat in there. Well, basil is going in, tomatoes coming in, and then a little bit of a peel as well, because it gives a little bit of a twist of the lemon. Of course, I put lemon in there as well, as you can see, and I'm going to put more in there too, but um, the lemon peel definitely makes a difference. I just took the lid off of it here, and it looks really nice. I think it's going to be great. I'm going to fish all these out now, because I'm going to need that moisture down there to make the sauce for the pasta. So I'm going to fish them out one by one, and then I'm going to put them over here, and then I'll put them in later. But now they're ready. This is the base for the sauce. Got a lot of basil in there and a whole lime in there as well. So it's going to be a little bit limey as well. Half parmesan goes in and then also some mozzarella cheese. Half and half. More parmesan in my opinion, but half and half at least. And then we're going to go ahead and spice it up with a little bit of cream. Or milk, whatever you want to do. It depends on how fat you want it. But it's, it's really good when it that melts. So half and half. I'm boiling it in right now to go ahead and get all the vapors out. It was a little bit more, unfortunately, more um, juicy than I had expected, but you know, it's, it's gonna be fine in a second. Now we're steaming fish. So here's the final result. We got mussels, steamed grated weaver, and also some tobies over there, and roast wine, and it looks really nice. I can wait. Try it out. <laughs> okay, now let's try it out. Let me see, what do you think? How's the fish, and how's the spaghetti? <laughs> what about the uh, mussels? Is it good? Good. And then I'm gonna try it too then. Please, don't be it at all. Okay. So let's go ahead and try this stuff. I haven't actually tried it myself. So uh, let's try the weaver. See how it goes. But uh, without the spaghetti because this time it's steamed, last time it was actually fried, so this time it's different. Let's try it. I have to say that's really good actually. <laughs> it's an awesome fish. So steamed, fried, they work both ways. Let's try the, um, the tobies here. I'm gonna take one without any other bacon or pieces in there. See how that is? It's a little bit more fishy in taste not as flaky but the taste is awesome it's not really bad it's really good actually so it's not the last time I'll take one of those with me home <laughs> they're good it's an amazing fruit from the sea the mussel really tastes nice this is almost what's left of it and we're just sitting here enjoying the last part of the sunset as you can see really nice it's just about going down and it's beautiful. Let's try the mussels. The mussels are great. I mean, try it out, guys. It's actually really easy. It's just to, to wait a little bit, put everything up in the pan basically in the end, and then you end up with this really magnificent, delicious dinner. So I hope you liked it. We don't have much more to say. We're sitting here in the sunset and just waiting for the sun to go down. We will actually enjoy our 
food and then I uh, hope you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. It's time